<laughs> All right, so this is the YouTube series where I show my friends from around the world different aspects of Bulgarian culture, and today I'm here with my friend Craig. Craig. And Craig, I've been told by a friend that there is a very, very big trend in Bulgaria right now. It's this song that everybody is going absolutely crazy about. Today I'm gonna show you some traditional Bulgarian pop folk music or so-called chalga music. Chalga? Chalga music, yes, that's right. This is a... It's considered a little bit of a low-class kind of gypsy music in Bulgaria, but it's part of the culture, so I really, really wanted you to... to to see this part of the culture as well. Okay. And if you want to take out your pair of AirPods and we can... Oh, yeah. Um, Let me get the back on. Okay. <laughs> Gypsy Are you music. ready? I know. <laughs> okay, so this first song is called Kombajna Varsachka. You tried to pronounce that. Kombajna. Oh, Kombajna. Varsachka. Varsachka. Yes, and it's, it, it's a song about uh, a frog and something else. So combina is the this machine that this machine that goes in the field and collects the He's saying we're not gonna argue, we're not gonna fight. When we go to sleep at night we're gonna be riding a bicycle. Hmm. So the combine combine. I'm not even sure what that means. So. so this is how a Bulgarian village would look like. And this kind of resembles the folk music, but like a little bit more... A little bit more... Now there is some music here. Right. There is music here. On the guitar is Vasco the Frog. He's gonna be playing only for you tonight. <laughs> A lot of folk songs. Gypsy Kuchetsi is the uh, like twerking, Bulgarian twerking. He says we're gonna see a lot of that. So people are going crazy over this frog, Vasco the Frog, who is gonna be... Hmm. This video has like four or five million views in, on the Balkan, not only in Bulgaria, it just got surfaced. This is a, a video that is from the 80s or 90s. It just got surfaced like a month ago, everybody went crazy, like Macedonia, uh, Serbia, Romania, countries around, around Bulgaria just got crazy about this song. Hmm. They would not stop listening to it. In fact, somebody made a one hour version of it and they would just play it one hour. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is kind of the chugger rhythm a little bit. I love the story, it's just so Bulgarian. This is Rakia, <laughs> the traditional Bulgarian drink. Have you tried it? No. Rakia, oh, you should once you come. The acting skills are just phenomenal, I love it. <laughs> of course, it's sang in a dialect, so this is not pure Bulgarian, it's mm -hmm. in dialect. And this is the... what's this, what's this animal called? It's, a, it's not a horse, but the... Looks like a donkey or a mule. Yeah, donkey, donkey, donkey. So during, now they're not singing, while this is playing, people would usually just dance cue check, which is the Bulgarian twerking, on parties. Tim has a brother that uh, studs on donkey with a horse, an Arabian, and it makes a mule. Oh yeah. In Florida. Yeah, I've seen a, I've ridden donkeys. <laughs> so you, you you are familiar with this type of uh... yeah. They're using carriages, but uh, yeah. And my great grandparents had a farm. Uh -huh. It was corn and soybean. I see. 
So you're you're familiar with the agricultural life and the story behind it. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. It's just so heartwarming. And my father worked for a tractor company. Oh, look at that. John, John Deere. You're so prepared. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I was just home, and I just went to visit the house and the farm. Oh, no. Tsetsa met the... Tsetsa, the bear, who is going to be singing only for you tonight. She's going to be the one on the microphone. And again, the gypsy twerking and the folk songs are going to be here. I'm not even sure what this means. All right, Derek here is fully out. He's drank all of it. So what's it taste like? The rakia, it's made of usually plums or apples or any kind of fermented fruits. Not any kind, but um, I guess you can make it from a lot of fruits. And it's very strong. It's um, my, my father sometimes makes it sometimes makes it like 70% alcohol. It's like wow. really strong. Yeah. Burn. So you, typically it's between 40 and 50, the ones that they sell at stores because they can't really go 70. Right. But it's really strong. And I, I personally don't like it. But one day you're going to come to Bulgaria. Oh, yeah. I'll try it. You're always welcome at my place. But one day you're going to come and I'm going to have you taste some of my father's rakia. How does that sound? A sip. A sip? Yeah. <laughs> well, People usually of... dilute it with water. Mm. What were you going to say? You know, a friend of mine, I just had for the first time <clears throat> moonshine uh -huh. from Alabama, which yeah. is the southern kind of redneck state, yeah. if you will. And it's almost 100%. Oh, yeah. But it's I flavored. Bet. No, I bet. So it's strawberry cream and yeah. apple cider. Yeah. Yeah. And it tastes, it doesn't even taste like alcohol. Like you literally have yeah. to sip it. Yeah. Because if you drink it. No, no. Like no. I put like a teaspoon over ice cream. Yeah. With the strawberry cream. Um, and it tastes great. But it's yeah. like, because it's flavored and it's, it's strong, so. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't it's taste strong. horrible. No, yeah. People in Bulgaria would drink it like straight up. Especially yeah. men. They would just, just like this guy. They would just. Yeah. That's <laughs> Yeah, so this is an absolute hit on the Balkan Peninsula right now. What are your thoughts? What do you think about this song? <laughs> well, it was interesting. It was perky. You know, <laughs> you, I mean, you could kind of bounce yeah. to it. <laughs> bounce to it. <laughs> no. I wouldn't go dancing with it. Oh, I, yeah. I can't imagine going dancing with yeah. it. You wouldn't it. imagine going crazy about this song? Not necessarily crazy. <laughs> Not for an hour. <laughs> Not for an hour. No, I know, I know, I know right? <laughs> It would be stuck there forever. What did you think about this genre? This your first encounter with Bulgarian childhood music. What did you think? No, I liked it. The next thing that I want to show you is uh, is even more scandalous. This is like an icon, Aziz. This is the guy. That's how he is called. Aziz. Aziz. He was so controversial because he was um, brave enough to do things when Bulgaria is a little bit more conservative, so it's a little bit more unfortunately homophobic, and people are not. They're a little bit more conservative on general in general, maybe less so in the capital, but especially in the rural areas, mm. oh boy, yeah. a lot. And this guy, you're gonna see him now, he was just, he, he was something different. Wow, very different. <laughs> I know, right? This is 2013, so even like almost 10 years back. Wow. What do you think of his look? Um, exotic. <laughs> yeah, right? He looks like something, somebody from T-Dance. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> You're gonna see Kuchek, the Bulgarian's work in this video. So he's uh, singing about tycoons with a lot of money if we're just having fun. Yeah. And then a little lay again, it doesn't have really a meaning to it. Just Great to... outfit. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, it works on him. Yeah, right. This is probably one of the most iconic Bulgarian club chaga music yeah. songs. Wow. 
he was the first one to ever be this kind of provocative. Right. He made steps towards change. So he's seeing that everybody's at Saint Tropez, others at the Maldives, and in Dubai, third ones. That's Bulgaria and Kuchek right there. Oh. That is not easy to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's not a like, he's a mid-sized boy. This is considered very, very low class in Bulgaria gypsy music. But a lot of people would have fun to it at the disco. It's at the Bulgarian party, you know, at JD's. Oh, it's really? the kind of music they play oh. there. Yeah. See, now I kind of want to go. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very dancey. Yeah. Was there a DJ there? Like, yeah, like someone who knows so. Bulgarian music? Yeah, yeah. And all of the Bulgarians go. Yeah. I've been once. It was so fun. Oh. So fun. So what did you think about this one? I, I love, well, the music was great, but um, and his outfits and his looks was good, but the, the other guy, the dancer, yeah. he wasn't like Body Beautiful or Young and uh -huh. Pretty. He was just an average looking guy, mm -hmm. which was, you would probably would never see in America. Yeah. And this song rarely. probably has 100 million views. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. But I think it's close to 100 million. Is he still... this? Yeah, 134 million view, yeah. views on this song. Is he still performing? Yeah, he, this, he's, this is the like, one of the most iconic singers in Bulgaria. His voice is in my... I don't know. What, what do you think no, about his voice? It was good. And not knowing what he's saying, but it was, I, he had a good voice. And I loved his... He adds, though. He adds a lot to it. Yeah. Like... The growl. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> the the ovals and the... Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's very typical to Bulgarian it's talga almost, music. It's almost like a... I don't, I don't even know if gypsy is a good word, but you know, when, you, when you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, oriental, I guess. Yeah. A very exotic, exotic. feel to it. Yeah. It, just, it just kind of stretches the, the notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. That is very typical. You work the notes. Yeah, what do you think about changing. that? Oh no, it was, I liked it. It, it. it was very different. Yeah. Um, I never heard Bulgarian music before, so this was a first. But uh, yeah, but you could dance to that. Yeah, oh no, this is club music at its brightest. Oh yeah. I want to show you a little bit about of, of this song. It's like 30 minutes. We're never going to listen to a whole, all of it, but like the first one or two minutes. This is the traditional Bulgarian backyard party music. It's just, it's... It's this guy. Everybody in Bulgaria knows this song. So he's saying, yeah, this is how it looks like. Yeah. Typically, the backyard party in Bulgaria. Does everybody drink? Yes. <laughs> everybody drinks. They're on the table, dancing, having fun. And uh, to this type of music, not everybody, but yeah. a lot of people in Bulgaria would do that. Almost reminds me of Greek. Yeah, yeah, Greek. it's something like that. The Balkan, the Balkan vibe. Yeah. But but in Greek or in Greece, they'll they'll end up dancing on the table. Oh, they would oh. here as well when they oh. get drunk or be, be, on, below the table or where they find. Oh, they, yeah, look at that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna go yeah. too crazy about this one, but kind of generally, what do you think of this vibe? Oh, yeah, I like the vibe. It, it reminds me of, of when I was in Greece and um, even a Greek restaurant in Miami. Yeah. And we all, we were with a bunch of friends and 
and then the ouzo, which is like a licorice. Yeah, you know, I know, I know. Um, the ouzo is the Bulgarian rukia, but there. And I sure. love the licorice yeah. flavor. Mm-hmm. And so, and then they, then it was old women that started dancing on oh, the yeah. tables first. Yeah, that's it. And they don't, and they don't clear the table. No, they dance. No, they, they dance on no, the No, I know, plates. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. And we're like, okay. <laughs> and then you think to yourself, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but then you end up doing and it. And the next thing you know, you're dancing <laughs> on the table. <laughs> Like everyone is dancing. <laughs> I know. And then they took like cocktail napkins. Yeah. And then they would throw them up in the air. Yeah, this is exactly what we do in Bulgaria. This and then is it's, exactly like, it's like raining cocktail. This is exactly what yeah. happens in Bulgarian clubs. And it's fun. So you've, you've experienced <laughs> that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my God. In, in, the, in the Greeks <laughs> and, and Greek. This is the Balkan vibe. Everybody on the Balkans does this. Yeah. So this is how we would have fun as well. And now I want to show you kind of a more contemporary song because those were very, uh, um, not very contemporary. So now we're in the city. <laughs> this, is what, yeah. Yeah. Wow. this is what every Bulgarian Chauga song looks like yeah. today. Expensive cars, smoking, butts, and a man and a woman who are singing against each other. And uh, What kind of car is that? It's probably a Porsche or a Maserati yeah. or a, I don't even know, a Bogini. This singer, I love her, she's so iconic. They're saying if you, if you get married, you're gonna you're gonna get divorced, and we're still gonna get together. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she, they're like, go away, get married, but then you're gonna end up with me again. You can't lose me. You can't lose me. Invite me to your wedding. I'm gonna drink for you. There's gonna be a problem, and at the end, we're still gonna be together. think about their looks. She's saying I'm a vodka away from taking the phone to come where you are and to end your girlfriend's coupon uh, party. I'm gonna come where you are and I'm gonna make your boyfriend crazy. (laughs) Kind of go away get married, and then after the, divor- the divorce, you're gonna call me. <laughs> Forget me, but then you're gonna remember me at the end. They're fighting, but they love each other very much. They're very passionate. Yeah. So yeah, naked girls, smoking, expensive stuff. You're not my man, but shut up, I want to be with you before you leave. You're not my wife, stop shouting at me. (laughs) Go to your man. I love that it's so obvious that he's not even talking on the phone, it's just so... It's the worst, the same thing. Call me after the day for the day. Forget about it. But you never will. <laughs> it's a very passionate love oh, yeah, I and hate. So. Yeah, love and hate relationship. That's the yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what are your thoughts on this one? What's this guy? Doing? This guy is like a friend of. This is a guy that appears on almost every Bulgarian TV reality show that's connected to music in any way. For example, The Voice of Bulgaria. And he would always like condescendingly make comments about this type of music. 
And now he's in a video on the Chalga music. Wow. I think he's a friend of uh, the singer. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but what does he do? I don't know what he <laughs> does in this video. He's like... It's just so... He just makes all these like angsty faces. Like, I know. Hey. This is what he always does, yeah. even in this right. show. So preposterous in my yeah. opinion. I don't know. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on contemporary Bulgarian Chalga music? Well, it's good. I mean... I, well, the, the video adds to it immensely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, especially those two people. Yeah. Because it's like they do, you can see the passion yeah. <laughs> in them, um, which makes it even more interesting knowing what the song's about. Yeah. But no, it's, it's, it's good music. And you can dance to it. I mean, it's, yeah. I, even in America, when I was younger, when I was bought a lot, yeah. I, always, I never listened to the words. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, no, I know. It was like, there's a beat, can I dance to it? Yeah, that's in Bulgaria as well. I would well. walk in, I would dance, I'd, I would dance for hours, yeah. and I'd walk home. And, but then they always had to have a beat. Yeah. And people like would sing the words, and I'd be like, I, I don't know what the words are. I, <laughs> yeah. I didn't care about the words. No, and I still uh, don't. You know, uh, it's funny because most Bulgarian Chaga songs, they sing about the same thing. <laughs> like about love, about how much I hate you, and then how much I love you, and we should be together, and then we're going to get divorced, and then we're still going to be together, and love me, I hate you, we're going to be together. Yeah. It's kind of that vibe. Right. Um, Which is a good vibe, but you, you wouldn't want it all the time. Right? Yeah, not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> There's more to life and no, I, than I love agree. and divorce. And... Yes, but this is part of Bulgarian culture, so I thought, why not share it with Oh, no, you? no. Oh, no, yes. definitely. And uh, thank you for participating in this video. Oh, no, this has been great. I love music and... You're a music expert, so this was a professional... You, we didn't say that in the beginning of the video, but you are a music expert, actually. Well, I wouldn't call it an expert, but... I would. <laughs> but I have sang in choral groups, so yes. the beginning part, yes. I have done that. Yes, nice. And if people want to see con more content like this, uh, we have planned a lot of videos. We're, in fact, uh, just cooking some Bulgarian banitsa that we're going to have Craig and more, most of my American friends try it for the first time in their life. So if you want to see that, definitely don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video so and that like I can it can reach yeah, exactly. a lot of people. And uh, thank you. And that's it. You're see welcome. you next time. All right. Bye. Bye. Can you be the part of our team на Virom? At the moment, the team of good people who help us with the translation of different languages, they write subtitles. Тук ще излязат езиците, за които имаме свободни позиции, както и в Скоби, колко позиции имаме отворени. Това е една страхотна възможност за вас да се предизвикате, да се подобрите знанията по този език, както и да работите в една готина позитивна среда и да се поопознаем малко повече. Така че аз ще ви очаквам да станете част от нашия екип. Много бих се радвал. Ако искате да станете част от екипа, можете да пишете на Ели, моята монтажистка в Instagram и тя ще ви помогне. Също така искам да ви кажа, че в това видео има giveaway и можете да спечелите защитна маска Филмар от моята лимитирана серия Дехи, която вече не се произвежда, така че единствения начин да, да се здобиете с нея да я спечелите от giveaway. За да се включите в днешния giveaway, необходимо да харесате това видео, да се абонирате за канала и да коментирате долу, да оставите коментар. Всички тези условия ще бъдат стрикно проверявани при изтеглянето на победител. Ето тук ще излезе победителя от предното видео. За тези, които не сте, не сте спечели или не се притеснявайте, можете да участвате неограничен брой пъти в giveaway. Успех! Благодаря ви, че ме гледате и ще се видим в следващото видео. Чао!